This video will show you what to do if you find your RCD keeps tripping your electric supply. A RCD will look something like this. This device is usually found in the consumer unit. It will have a button marked with AT. A lever to switch the RCD on and off. It will also have the appropriate markings such as the trip current, which in this case is stated as 30 mA. This diagram shows a typical split load arrangement, it is very common in today's consumer units. The brown lines indicate the live conductor and the blue lines indicate the neutral conductor. As you can see that the incoming live conductor from the main switch feeds the top of RCD2. This then comes out of the RCD and feeds the bus bar at the bottom. The live conductor also at the bottom of the main switch branches of to the top of RCD1. This type of arrangement allows you to separate your electric installation into two sections. Typically half of the lighting and power will be controlled by RCD1, the other half by RCD2. With this arrangement if one RCD trips only half your lighting and power will go off. As the other half is intact it will help to reduce any hazards from occurring. Also it will be easier to fault find as only those circuits being monitored by the tripped RCD will have to be examined. This circuit diagram shows the internals of a RCD. The important thing to remember, it is not a overcurrent device. It monitors the current going out and makes sure the current that comes back in is the same. Why is this important? For example if the metal part of your kettle became live, this would be classed as an earth fault. Due to the earth arrangements in the UK, and the requirement for all class 1 appliances to be earthed, the current would take the path of least resistance, and flow down to earth via the circuit protective conductor. This leads to a current which is different from the current, which came out of the RCD. This imbalance will cause the sense leakage coil to have a current induced in it. This in turn will trip the switch via a relay, if the induced current is equal or greater than the marked value on the RCD. Faults with RCDs can be broken down into two scenarios. The first if you find yourself constantly having to reset your RCD, or the RCD trips instantly, then you have current leaking down to earth, somewhere on your electric installation. In this scenario it is a simple process of elimination. Follow the steps shown on this flow diagram. The second type of fault can be caused by something simple as a light bulb blowing. This type of tripping is known as nuisance tripping. If this occurs on a regular basis, without any apparent reason then either the RCD is too sensitive or a fault may be developing on your installation. You should call an electrician to investigate further. However if you find a light bulb has blown, then try to reset your RCD by turning the lever back to the on position. If the RCD functions correctly with the blown bulb removed, then you may have resolved the problem. In most cases you will find on unplugging a faulty appliance your problem will be resolved. Even if you find, your fault is on a circuit which can only be diagnosed by a qualified electrician, still you have zeroed in on the culprit circuit. This will help you to save money and protect yourself from rogue traders. Also remember to periodically test the RCD by using the test button. Please read the important note at the end of the video and subscribe and like for more DIY tips.